Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be talking to you about Cetaphil's Redness Relieving Daily Moisturizing Moisturizer with SPF 20 Broad Spectrum. This is a tinted version and this is what it looks like. This is the box that it comes in and although I've been using it every day, I just wanted to show you what the box looked like. This is the tube. It contains 50 mils of product in it and it has 10.1% titanium dioxide and 7.8% of zinc oxide. I don't have anything except for the Hadalabo UV Bite Gel on my face as my sunscreen right now so I'm gonna actually show you what it looks like on me. This is how much I took quite a bit so let's see I mean I've used this every day I use this every day I just uh, haven't done it on camera I put the CozRx pimple patch right here so that's why I'm not like going all the way into my into the middle of my face. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation from acne marks, so this one here, and then that one, and then this one's like a really small comedone, so it's not really a pimple. So those are some things that I hope that this will help me with, which is why I particularly purchased this. Oof, that's too much. All right. Hmm. Okay, that's what it looks like. I feel like I did a good job, I don't know. Anyway, so I want to talk more about this product and give you more details. I purchased this in Michigan, so I went to the Ulta Beauty Store and I was able to purchase it for $15. I believe you can get it for a couple bucks cheaper on either Amazon or if you find it at Walmart you could uh, find it for cheap uh, for a cheaper price I think this is a fairly affordable price for a tinted sunscreen however this only guarantees an SPF of 20 considering how little I use of this product I don't think this gives a very good sun protection but with that said I have not measured exactly how much sun protection it gives me like I don't have a UV camera although I'm thinking of getting one of those I feel like this is a great sunscreen, however, if you want to add 
protection on top of the sunscreen that you're already using. For example, like I mentioned, I before I applied this on camera, I only had the Hadalabo UV white uh, gel sunscreen and that is a clear chemical sunscreen so it left no white cast on me. I like to use this on top because the iron oxides that gives it the tint in this moisturizer helps prevent some of the UV, uh, UV not UV light, sorry, visible light that can also um, exacerbate hyperpigmentation and I get a lot of hyperpigmentation as soon as I get a pimple so that's why I think this is th that's why I purchased it and what I realized is this alone works well if you are I guess indoors but I still don't think this is enough I like using this on top of another sunscreen, however, when I use this with, oops, the Elta MD UV Sport sunscreen, my skin looks really, really shiny and greasy, so I, if you're not a fan of that, I would not recommend these two together. But I do think this works really well with the Hadalabo sunscreen. Another thing I want to talk about is... Another thing I want to address is it says that it's for redness prone skin. I don't believe my skin particularly becomes red. But if I've been out in the sun, my skin does become red. And I think that this helps with that. It also has caffeine in it and it has licorice root extract. Both of them are known to impart a little bit of brightening effect because they are anti-inflammatory. So I like that part about this. I don't think this gives you a matte finish and because I'm using it, like I use it in the winter time and it's fine, but in the summer when it's more humid out, my skin's starting to look a little bit more greasy when I use this, so I would recommend using like a powder or something on top after using this. But there's a lot of things going for this, sun this sunscreen, and I know it's not really a sunscreen, it's a moisturizer that has tint in it, but it's a really well formulated moisturizer. or yeah moisturizer because it feels really soft on the skin it's fragrance free so it does not irritate my skin in any way it also feels very comfortable it does not stay on the skin in really sweaty conditions so I find it it um, transfers very easily like say if I sneeze and like blow my nose my tissue besides having like not it also has like the sunscreen like the tint I can see it in there so it transfers off very easily it's not water resistant so this is something that you would have to constantly reapply this does leave a considerable white cast but it's not a disfiguring white cast for example I have it on right now and you can't really tell the white cast because it's so sunny so you won't really notice the white cast when you're outdoors but you will notice the white cast when you're indoors it's not it only makes you look like you have some kind of foundation on it doesn't make you look bad and I I'm not a huge fan of titanium dioxide based sunscreens because I find that titanium dioxide gives me a purplish white cast but because of the tint in it like the iron oxides I think I personally don't notice that purplish cast on me, so I really like this moisture. The texture and feel of this sunscreen is very smooth. It does not feel it does not feel super lightweight, but it doesn't feel super sticky and heavy either. I don't think I don't think this is a sunscreen that could be helpful if you are looking to
I think this is a good sunscreen to reapply, but I don't think this is a good sunscreen to reapply outdoors because this is not water resistant. So it will slide off much faster than your regular sunscreen. But if you're only in and out from your car to like a building or, you know, you're not really spending a whole lot of time outdoors, I think this is fine. I honestly I don't really have a whole lot of complaints because it has not broken me out I have acne prone skin and I think the tint in this as well as the SPF has actually helped with some of my hyperpigmentation especially because I'm so prone to hyperpigmentation and knowing that this covers a little bit of the visible light that can also worsen hyperpigmentation I feel assured knowing that I'm doing the right things to uh, prevent damage so I really like it I really wish this was available in Canada it's not if it is available in Canada I hope the price point is around $15 because otherwise I think it's it's a little bit expensive it's not cheap Overall, this is a really great product. Oh, I just noticed it says it's made in Canada, but it's not sold in Canada, so... Yeah, I mean, I really wish it was. Um, great sunscreen. I really like it. I would not use this alone. I just want to make sure I've said that. I would not use this alone. I would use it in combination with either a powder or with another base sunscreen because this is only SPF 20. This sunscreen washes off really well too. Just with the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser, I find that the sunscreen is easy easy to remove. Um, so it's, an, it's another thing that I like about this sunscreen. And that's all for today. Have a good one. Bye.